Hey guys, group on the way back. I'm Calvin. Eric. And we are back with Firefly. Yes. Hashtag Firefly. We're in the big room this time because yep. they Sherlock suck. is in the small room right now, the Sherlock duo. They're not as good as Team Firefly. No. Nope. So we got the big room for our big, massive dicks. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we have the tablecloth. Yeah, that's why. Don't be careful. Uh, last time on Firefly, Calvin, we had, uh, I don't have my original notes, but last time was the other brown coat. I can't remember his name right now, but it was very sad and very somber, and uh, I just keep... Started with an M. Yeah, I keep, I think. I keep thinking about just, like, that the show is ending. <laughs> <laughs> so we had that, but it was a very cool episode. It was cool seeing, like, uh, anytime I get to see Mal when he had hope yeah. <laughs> and, and that kind of thing, it's always cool. And uh, Zoe being that military, you know, uh, hard ass, which she still is, but, but she's also she's softened also a little softened. bit. Yeah, so yeah. I like that as well. Um, yeah, it was a good episode. Um, it was just sad. Yeah. So I hope the next one's not sad, because I'm done being sad today. I was very sad today for an early reaction, so I, yes. want, I need some upbeatness in my firefly. Yes. So this is episode 13. Yeah. <sighs> the penultimate episode in this season. Mm-hmm. <sighs> In this only season. Yeah. Fish me. Whoa! It's Luke! Nandi! Nandi! We ain't open for business. Shut up. Holy shit! Mm-hmm. And you, we don't trade with yep. at all, Rance Burgess. You're no longer welcome in this establishment. Rance Burgess? I've been told a great many things. Find the girl. She ain't here. The girl left this moon more than a month ago. It was you chased her off. <laughs> wow. They found her really, really quick. Is she pregnant? It's a good thing. You haven't left with my baby. Oh. It's me, ain't yours. So you keep saying it. This DNA is a match with mine. No, I will be back for my baby. How are you gonna stop? They're just like a whorehouse. We'll get help, that's how. Help? There's not a soul on this moon girl but gets Ranch Burgess. She's right. Ain't nobody strong enough. And even if there was, who'd help us? Got a distress call coming in. Some folks asking for help. Mm. Really? Folks asking for help from us petty crooks. Well, maybe I should take that right away. Well, it's for her. Ah. Uh. Huh? This distress wouldn't happen to be taking place in someone's pants, would it? <laughs> A distress call. That's <laughs> oh, funny. Ranch Burgess. It looks like he ought to be the bald one. Yeah. That actor, he's, I mean, I don't know his name, but he's in a lot of shit. He's yeah. supernatural. He's, uh, he's, he's in the great typecast. He's in the greatest showman. He's yeah. Like slaps the, you know, little, little, uh, the carnival guy. Oh. Yeah. Have you watched Pearson? Have you seen Greatest Showman yet? Oh, shit. Not the little carnival guy. I'm, whenever Barton Bailey is small, he slaps me. Oh. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Not a little person. Friend sounds like she's in a peck of trouble. She is. And there's no authority in that moon she can go to. They're totally alone. Some men might take advantage of that. One man. And she's looking for someone to come along and explain things to him? That's essentially it, yes. They're not companions. They're whores. Mm -hmm. Thought you didn't much care for that word. It applies. They're not registered with the guild. They're... Probably not Independent. Trained. Yes. I'll speak with the crew. Good. No one's gonna force you to go, Jane. As has been stated, this job is strictly speculative. Good. Don't know these folks, don't much care to. They're whores. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you tell me I'm pretty? Were I unwed, I would take you in a manly fashion. Because <laughs> you're pretty. That's so great. I take it. <laughs> That's so funny. Not with red. Hey, you that too, man, that. Take yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's nice to know there's some places left in the verse where old-fashioned values still mean it, then. Isn't that right, Jane? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I know you. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Reynolds. 
And might I just say, she is quite a beauty. Well, thank you. Ever had occasion to handle one of these, Mr. Reeves? Didn't think weapons such as this were generally legal. For a private owner, I mean. My husband makes a distinction between legality and morality, Mr. Reynolds. I've said that myself. Bending one unjust law is a small thing when it comes to protecting one's family. Mm. I think I understand you. We run. Math just don't add up. Our weapon stores aren't exactly overpowering at the moment, and I don't much like what we'd be up against. Nothing worse than a monster that thinks he's right with God. I turn Burgess away once, and he'll keep coming. Won't stop till he gets what he thinks is his. So we run. My people, mm -hmm. your people, and whatever bits of precious you got in this house you can't bear to part with. We load up Serenity, and we leave Burgess in the dust. Captain Reynolds, it took me years to cut this piece of territory out of other men's hands. I'm not going anywhere. Well, lady, I must say, you're my kind of stupid. Something to be smiling at. I trained as a companion, remember? I read people pretty well. Well, that's nice for you. She's a hell of a woman, ain't she? Ah. An art. <laughs> yeah, she's a cherry blossom, build an eye. She's like you more than a little. And how exactly is that? She hates complications. They do crop up, though, don't they? Such is life. I ain't her. The only people in this room are you and me. Seems the Heart of Gold's got itself a few mercenaries. They have my child! held hostage to their decadent ways, and that I will not abide. We will show them what power is. We will show them what their position in this town is. Let us all remember, right here and now, what a woman is to a man. This shirt is too thin, I can still see. <laughs> She's a dear friend and probably in need of some comfort about now. Mm hmm. Well, uh. One of the virtues of not being puritanical about sex is not feeling embarrassed okay. afterwards. You should look into it. I knew it, Calvin! I'd like you best on the balcony with me. You can see everyone from up there. You didn't give me the whole truth now. About what? About her feelings for you. I really don't know. Wow! Looks like we got some imminent violence. Damn you! Fucking rats! Okay? I do believe that's our first hurt. Yeah, yeah. I think I might count. Yeah. Get really close to him. <laughs> Fuck! Good morning. No. Man. How's my boy? Two times more. I love you don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> this is my blood, woman. No. This is your blood. Yes. Are you paying that child over nice and slow? I'll spill more than you can spare. Now kill him! Damn it! No! I knew it! Ah, oh. oh, Drake! Oh. Yes! This is so Nathan! Nathan Drake! This is so Nathan Drake. <laughs> You idiot! You're in a car, you should 
be charging it. <laughs> yes, well. Yes, now beat his ass in the sand. You gotta pay for what you took. She was just a whore. Say that one again. Huh? Yes. I've taken his jaw off. Jonah. That was really dark. For badass. Go on. Go on home. You go with them. I feel bad for you. Not at all. She's your niece. Laura. I ain't looking for anything from you. I'm just, uh. Just feeling kind of. Truthsome, right now. Truthsome. Truesome. There's something I should have done a long while ago. Yeah? And I'm sorry. For both of us that it took me this long. I'm leaving. Give me fish. Give me fish right now. Damn it. Son of a bitch, I got. <laughs> like your fish heads. Yep. We should do that one day. <laughs> when there's just nothing to say. Yeah. Mm. Be funny. Okay. <clears throat> All right. This is a great fucking episode. Every episode of Firefly is great, but yeah, that was special. Man, it got me some good villain. That Rance Burgess actor. Just, he's so yeah. good. So good. Everything I've seen him in, he's mm -hmm. always been great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I just kind of felt like Nandi was going to die. And I thought it was going to be like, oh, well, it's going to be a matter of what was she going to say? Doubt. Not going to say anything. Maybe last episode. Maybe movie. Maybe we'll do something there. And they're like, oh, no, shit, they're going to do it now. And they didn't. Yep. Took it away. Now she's leaving. Yep. Where's she going? Where's she going to go? Nowhere. All right. I'm so pissed. I mean, there's lots of different places you can go. You can go back to the strength and the family and everything here is great and all planets. that shit. And then we're going to leave. We're going to leave. That's what happened. Build it up. Yep. I hurt my finger. <sighs> were I unwed, I would take you in a manly fashion. It's one of the greatest quotes I've ever been yeah. uttered by a person. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, I, that's like That might be one of my favorite quotes of the show. Yeah. Honestly. I really like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That is possibly my favorite line from him. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's another one that I'm thinking of. Yeah. But we won't get into that now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like the distinction. You know, we've talked about it before, about the distinction between horrors and companions. That companions are like, you know, it's like a, it's like a clone and a Jedi, you know, almost. Yeah. So, you know, like in terms of skill and what they can do and the leadership and that kind of stuff. We're like a, uh, hmm. like a Jedi and a Mandalore, something like that. Sure. Like a Padawan and a Grandmaster. Yeah. Hmm. Exactly. You finally found the right combination of Star Wars references. I can't, you know, I have to explain. To the explain. <laughs> explain the unknown with the known, Cal. Yeah. <laughs> um, just seems like the only thing we know is yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Zoe and Wash had a little conversation. They want to have a kid. That was new yep. and, and random and never went back to it. Though, I mean, I'm sure they are trying. I don't know. Wash doesn't seem to want it. Zoe wants one, which I think is yeah. interesting. For some reason, I felt like it would be the other way around. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I feel like he's, he's like the safe one. Sure. Right? 
So he's going to be the one that's more careful. Sure. I guess I feel like Zoe might have, like, you know, she's experienced, I would assume, she's experienced more of the hard parts of life. And maybe it's, like, one of those things where it's like, this isn't the kind of world I want to bring a kid into. Or, you know, I could see that. Like, yeah. I could just fill that, those assumptions in. Obviously, I'm wrong, but... But you do also get the idea that she she doesn't want to be afraid of anything that could give her a great amount of joy. True. Yeah. You know? Just yeah. like we were talking about earlier in, in the Doctor Who episode, you know, the good things don't don't uh, cover up the bad things. Yeah. But the bad things don't take away from the good things. You just have two piles and they grow. Yeah. Gotcha. So her saying, like, you know, I'm not so afraid of losing it that I don't want to ever have it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I was a little confused by the dulcimer conversation they were having. Oh, and what what do they mean? She killed it's somebody? A, it's a, no, it's a stringed instrument. Oh, okay. So it's it's basically a big, wide, well, basically a piano, but without the keys to play the strings. So mm-hmm. you basically uh, use hammers or spoons oh, okay. to play the strings. Like, uh, okay, I get you. So like, have you heard of like a hammer dulcimer? Dun, 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 dun. Like that one. No, those are those are steel drums. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why. And also it. not the uh, xylophone. Sure. Where it's do 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 yeah. do do. Okay. I mean, it's the same principle. It's a, sure. It's a percussion stringed instrument. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then she wrecked it, and then she also wrecked that guy that was mistreating the girls. Good. Yeah. Um. She mentioned that the guy that was mistreating the girls. Uh, he had all the girls strung out on drops, which I'm assuming is just a drug. Yeah. We haven't really seen a whole lot of, like, drug, like, culture in Firefly, right? Not really, no. Not really. I mean, we've seen, like, alcohol, mm-hmm. uh, bars, that kind of thing. But in terms of, like, just straight-up drugs, which, you you know, are usually a large part. You know, like, o- opium was a big thing in the Wild West, yes. you know? But uh, maybe and, drops uh, is kind of like opium. Heroin. Yeah. So, yeah. So... Um, I, I thought we would get something with Jane and that girl, like, like her crying at the end when they're yeah. leaving or something, but never, didn't get anything. That was a, seemed to be a very, uh, uh, mutual relationship. Yeah. Two. So I like that. That was good. Because he is a, he's a pig and he's a terrible, you know, yeah. guy, but he's also a sweetheart and a, he can and be. a good guy. So, yeah. I mean, at least he, he found a girl that, uh, consented. Yes. <laughs> if you can call it that with a prostitute. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I have. I mean, the, the scene with Anar crying, you know, after she learned that he had been with Nandi. Uh, I mean, we, we've we had those clues before with uh, her kissing him and passing out and him not finding out what had happened, you know. Yeah. So we know that this has always been there. But now that she sees and she has to admit to herself the, invul- the, the vulnerability she has, she has to leave. Mm-hmm. Which is, makes no sense yeah. to you or I. Uh, yeah. I mean, she's wrong. I get her, but she's wrong. Yes. She ne- that's, that gives her strength, not weakness. She doesn't understand. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. Um, well, it's because she's experiencing something that she's never yeah. experienced before yeah. to that magnitude. Like... She's had feelings for him from long for a long time, sure. but it's never it's never made her break. Yeah, you know, you know, you've never seen the cracks in her makeup. You know, like she goes out, has these appointments, bangs dudes, and he doesn't do that. He goes out and bangs chicks, but I don't. We don't, I don't think we see it as much, you know. But as soon as she finds out that he was banging a chick, then she starts crying. You know, it's a weird double standard there. Yeah, but in a way. Also, like, from the beginning of their friendship, relationship, whatever, like, that was the status quo. Sure. You know, he didn't, like, fool around with anybody, you yeah. know. And then that happened. So she was like, oh, shit. Yeah. No, I, I mean, it's just the nature it of... It just hit her in a way that she never expected. Yeah. So. And it could also be something like Nandi is, like, an equal or peer of hers that mm-hmm. can really be like, oh, okay, well... Yeah, he can go out and do stuff with these other girls, but this is one that's like me, you know, so maybe it hits her harder. Even though I guess uh, Saffron was kind of like that, too, once he found yeah. out who she was. Though, I, I guess, like, when I watched a Saffron episode the first time, I thought they actually did have sex their wedding night. But I don't know if they did or not. 
Saffron and Mal? Yeah. No. Okay, I guess they didn't, so. No, because she was they didn't. hiding in the cargo hold. Yeah. Well, that's all I got. It was a great episode. Uh, we have one more left. Yep. Which I'm assuming is going to be chasing after Inara. Somehow. I hope. It's a damn shame this season ends and we don't resolve that. But I know we have a movie to resolve a lot of stuff, too. So, Or not. <laughs> we'll get to it next week. I don't want to set anything up for you. Set something up. One thing. Set up one thing. For this finale. Go on this finale. For just the finale? I mean, the cool thing is that we have a story to lead ourselves into the next episode, which rarely happens at Firefly. It's usually story, story, story. This one is story, what happens next? You know? So I guess that's going to be a thing leading us in. What happens next? I don't know, but I wish they would bang! Not just bang, just fucking talk to each other. Oh, yeah. Well, like, like a loving bang. Yeah. Takes them slow. I've been feeling right! Thanks for watching this episode of Firefly, everybody. Uh, if you want to watch all the other episodes that we do, go ahead and subscribe and click that bell button so you get notifications for when we release new videos. Also, check out Patreon over there for all of our early access and full-length reactions. Check also the descriptions down at the bottom. The link's down in the description. <laughs> <laughs> <Nothing>. Okay. <laughs>